need to advise our children, give them moral instruction how to behave in the society because sometimes when we see this type of things happening is the type of friends that the children are mix, uh, mixing around, uh, around with them. Health is wealth. Thus, keeping away from anything with health effect is best. Sitting next to a smoker is very dangerous as you inhale the smells and the smoke that comes from the smoking. This also applies to passersby. In the following report, Kodak Lum sees devastating effects of uh, consuming the tobacco is uh, felt mostly on passersby who only inhale without a smoking. Her report. Cigarette smoking equally affects persons around smokers. These persons and infants whose parents smoke are most often referred to as second-hand smokers. Going by medics, there is no risk-free level of exposure to second-hand smoke. Second-hand smoke causes numerous health problems in infants and children, including more frequent and severe asthma attacks, respiratory infections, ear infections, and sudden infant death syndrome. And almost all the effects of drug consumptions on smokers equally affect those around smokers since they inhale the smell while the smoker is taking the drug. What makes secondhand smoke dangerous going by medics is the fact that smoke from burning nicotine products contains harmful chemicals and non smokers inhaling other people's smoke breathe in these toxins. Side stream smoke from the end of a cigarette, cigar or pipe is unfiltered. It has more harmful toxin than mainstream smoke that someone breathes out. And this secondhand smoke damages the body in many different ways. And adults exposed to secondhand smoke may experience cardiovascular, heart veins, asteroids, diseases like high blood pressure, heart attack or stroke, lung problems, therefore According to health experts, almost all the effects of drug consumptions on smokers equally affect those around smokers since they inhale the smell while the smoker is taking the drug. Still in connection to the World No Tobacco Day, some bar owners in uh, the capital city, Yaoundé, have intensified uh, prohibiting smoking in the bar for it uh, inconvenient some consumers. Uh, to strictly implement these warnings are boldly written and pasted on the walls in most of the snacks in the capital city, Yaoundé. And Omeko, a reporter, visited some bars in the Etudi neighborhood in the capital city, Yawundi, and brought back this report. Smoking in public places is not a good habit as many inhale the smoke and easily get infected. Unfortunately, most smoking class Cameroonians don't care and as a result, making those around them uncomfortable, especially around drinking sports. I, for one, I don't... I don't like smoking, so when a customer enters into this snack with a cigarette in their hand, I always advise them to smoke outside because it irritates so many people. Some snack bar owners have multiplied efforts to restrict smoking as this singular act greatly affects those who do not smoke at all. The smoke coming out of that cigarette irritates so many people, so I always advise them to stay outside and smoke. Even on the veranda, I don't always let them to sit even on the veranda and smoke. So if you are here with a cigarette, I ask you to go down the road. When you finish smoking, then you climb up to the veranda and you take your drink. It is important to note that even those sitting close to smokers can also get infected just by inhaling the smoke. The woman who smokes heavily can give birth to a child. Maybe a child who has hearing problem or the eyes, a child who is blind, even. A male who smokes heavily is unable to produce uh, mature sperm, spermatozoas. So you will see yeah, that will lead to infertility. Heavy smokers are unable to withstand erection for a period of time. Addicted smokers should be conscious and responsible in their smoking habits as this can lead to more complications to them and to those around them. 
Away from the World No Tobacco Day, we take you over to the northwest region of the country. As you heard in one of our late stories, the registrar or the vice chancellor of the University of Bamenda, Professor Nkoth Therese Akenji, has challenged the new registrar, Professor Kongnui Patrick, to work with in unity with his collaborators as to work as one man in order to better the activities of the University of Bamenda. The Vice Chancellor equally challenged him to speed up the distribution of the presidential laptops in that university as online studies continue gaining ground. She was talking while commissioning the new registrar of the university to his new post of responsibility. A Northwest Regional Correspondent, Neba Jerum, says the occasion was strictly prohibited only for top officials of the university due to the COVID-19 pandemic. His report. It was in strict respect of COVID-19 barrier measures that Professor Conry Patrick was officially installed as the Ford Registrar of the University of Bamenda since creation. While installing him into his function, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Bamenda, Professor Teresa Kuo Akenji, challenged him to serve the university community. We are sure that with more and more of our laptops being distributed, the students will be able to also uh, have uh, access to the platform and as we speak all of the students whose bio data were recorded they all have received their their laptops so it is a new group that we would now start the associate professor in educational administration and planning will continue with the distribution of the presidential laptop to students as the university has embraced online studies we have new IT center we have new uh, personnel and young staff just formed and with the expertise in the IT, I think we are going to advance and things will be okay. The 49 years old prior to his appointment was vice dean in charge of teaching and programs in the faculty of education in the University of Bamenda. He replaces Professor Tani Victor Balilong who died on July 7, 2020. Culinary profession is considered a diverse and complex one as many Cameroonians strive to take, most especially in restaurants and relatively big institutions like hotels and hospitals. Chefs who have knowledge of food science and nutrition has the responsibilities of preparing pleasing meals, as Geraldine Nasse tells us in this report. Cameroon's Cotton Company has recorded a production increase of over 350,000 tons of cotton. The cotton production increase during the current 2020-2021 cotton season. According to reports, more than three... Culinary profession is a diverse and complex domain and one in which most Cameroonians strive to take. Culinary arts are the cuisine arts of food preparation, cooking, the presentation and serving of meals. People working in this field, especially in establishments such as restaurants and large institutions like hotels and hospitals, are commonly called chefs. These chefs are required to have knowledge of food science, nutrition and diet and are responsible for preparing meals that are as pleasing to the eyes as they are to the table. There are so many careers to take up in the culinary field like pastry chefs, executive chefs, kitchen staff, catering, personal chefs and more, all these consisting of different rules in the culinary arts. Trying to find out why people go in for the culinary arts training, most people say they find pleasure in cooking and serving people and they derive the joy when people eat and appreciate. <laughs> It has been seven months of training. I am very happy. It is my first time and it was
was not easy, but I made it. Cooking is a passion for me. Et quand ils sont heureux, je suis heureux. C'est ça qui fait mon bonheur. The culinary arts training can equally give the skills to safely prepare food and serve it on time. Most Cameroonians find the culinary arts education as the ability to start in professional environments and advancement in a good career. It is a profession that gives a deeper appreciation for food as culture, as an art, and food as health, all of which can be passed on to customers through a personal Away from there, let us talk some economy to see that uh, cotton has witnessed uh, a rapid increase in production in the country according to statistics revealed by the cotton company in the country. Uh, the company is properly preparing to breeze the rainy season and its consequences on cocoa, as Kodet Lum tells us in this report. Cameroon's cotton company has recorded a production increase of over 350,000 tons of cotton. The cotton production increase during the current 2020-2021 cotton season. According to report, more than 340,000 tons of seed cotton had already been collected out of the total production of over 356,000 tons. A performance that corresponds to an evacuation rate of 1,584 tons per day against 1,486 tons per day during the previous years, which allows the company to set an absolute record this year, according to reports. This accelerated rate of cotton collection to the gaining factories before the return of the rains prevents the cotton from waiting, which often causes considerable losses to the company. Thus, the initiative by the cotton industry and measures taken by the cotton development company to avoid losses of the previous years during the raining season. If you're just joining us, you're watching the 6 p.m. newscast in the English language on Kamdi's television. In sport, Dimitrov of Bulgaria is the winner of the third lap of the 17th edition of International Cycling Tour of Cameroon. The Bulgarian uh, finished the lap with other riders that took them from Bangante in the West region to Kong Samba in the Litura region early this afternoon. A special envoy in the caravan, Tabi Clarkson, says the third lap of the race seemed very difficult for Cameroonian riders. His report. Summoned for the Indomitable Lions course from May 30th to June 9 in Austria, Cameroonian born striker Christian Basogog may not join the Lions in the den. The striker faces the veto of his club, Shanghai Shenchua, which refuses to release him for this FIFA break. The Chinese club does not want to release players to join Austria where the Lions are currently camping. There is possible fear that Olivier Mbaizo could also miss the set camping and friendly, which has still not received his visa to enter Austria. While the head coach has already replaced Jean Onana, Antonio Concisao will now find replacement for Basogok and Baizo, who are nevertheless in his list of 28 pre-selected players to take part in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers come September 2021. 19 out of the 28 shortlisted players are currently in Austria for the start of the Lions come. The remaining nine are expected to make their way to the Lions den this Monday, May 31. The indomitable Lions will face the Eagles of Nigeria in a friendly ahead of FIFA World Cup qualifiers on June 4 and 8. The head coach, Antonio Concisao, will use this friendly as an opportunity to test the preparedness of the players so as to secure a place for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. The Lions arrived in Austria on May 30th and took up their quarters at the Hilton Danube Waterfall Hotel in Vienna. 
Uh, we sincerely apologize for the mix up there. That was instead a report about the indomitable lions of Cameroon, who are presently in calm in Austria ahead of a friendly encounter against the eagles of Nigeria on the 4th and 5th of June 2021. And the Lions are going to play without a Christian Basogok, who has received a veto from his club side in China, as well as Olivier Mbaizo, who equally is yet to get visa to get into Austria. On our international page, the Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS has suspended Mali and has called on the military junta to appoint a civilian prime minister. The Economic Community of West African State in its summit that was held in Accra, Ghana yesterday, equally called on the military junta and Mali in general to respect the transitional period of 18 months that ends in the February 20. 22. More in this report. ECOWAS heads of state who met in Accra on Sunday to reflect on the case of Mali have agreed on limited sanctions against the perpetrators of the recent coup in Bamako. The soldiers who carried out the last coup in Mali, the outcome of the extraordinary summit of West African heads of state held Sunday in Accra, Ghana, to examine the case of Mali was not frankly unfavorable to them. Apart from temporal suspension of the country from the bodies of the organization, the requirement to appoint a new civilian prime minister and to respect the timetable for the transition initially agreed upon, the presence of the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS have chosen to handle Bamako carefully. After long discussions, the head of states and governments have decided to suspend Mali from the institution of ECOWAS call for immediate appointment of a prime minister from the civil society and demand the organization of presidential, legislative and electoral. Such harsh remarks have been interpreted by some observers as a call for ECOWAS to take firm retaliatory measures against the poaches. If so, West African heads of state do not seem to have followed it, a choice certainly dictated by concern not to worsen the situation in a country already in the throes of a deep political crisis and violence. Still on our international page, China has announced that they will allow couple to have more than three children. This comes after a census in the most populated country in the world showed a steep in birth rate in China. Chiradin Nase. China has relaxed its planning policy to allow couples to have a maximum of three children after a census showed its population is rapidly aging, state media Xinhua reported this Monday. This declaration was during an elite Politburum leadership committee hosted by President Xi Jinping. For almost 40 years, China enforced a controversial one-child policy, one of the strictest family planning regulations worldwide, which was lifted in 2016 due to widespread concerns over an aging workforce and economic stagnation. China's fertility rate stands at 1.3, below the level needed to maintain a stable population, the Bureau revealed. The one indicate 2020 census results published last month also showed that China population grew at its lowest rate since the 1960s, reaching 1.41 billion. It comes alongside a sharp drop in the number of working age people, once again raising fears of a looming demographic crisis. China's gender balance has equally been skewed by decades of the one-child policy and a traditional social preference for boys, which prompted a generation of sex-selective abortions and abandoned baby girls. The country, however, is planning to raise its retirement age to keep more people in workforce and improve pension and health services for the elderly. That international report takes us to the end of this edition of the News in the English Language. But before we part companies, a recaps of the major stories. Cameroon has joined the international community this Monday, May 31, to commemorate the World No Tobacco Day, with call to create awareness of the negative effects of smoking. 
Professor Kongnui Patrice has taken office as the new registrar of the University of Bamenda with a call to work in unity and facilitate the distribution of the presidential laptop as online learning keeps gaining ground in the University of Bamenda. In sport, the 17th edition of the International Cycling Tour of Cameroon entered the third lap this afternoon with a Bulgarian carrying the day after covering the distance from Bangante in the West region to Nkong Samba in the Litora region. And uh, that is the package we had for you for the, in this edition of the news in the English language. Meet Desiree uh, Trezombune at 8 p.m. for another edition of the news in the French language. I'll be with you tomorrow at 6 p.m. But before then, do have a wonderful time in the company of our programs. Goodbye for now.